The number of dwarf planets in the Solar System is unknown. Estimates run as high as 200 in the Kuiper Belt and over 10,000 in the region beyond. However, consideration of the surprisingly low densities of many dwarf planet candidates suggests that the numbers may be much lower e.g. at most nine among bodies known so far. The International Astronomical Union has accepted five, series in the inner solar system and four in the trans-Neptunian region, Pluto, Eris, Haumea, and Makemake, the last two accepted for naming purposes. <laughs> IAU naming procedures In 2008, the IAU modified its naming procedures such that objects considered most likely to be dwarf planets receive differing treatment than others. Objects that have an absolute magnitude h less than plus one, and hence a minimum diameter of 838 kilometers (521 miles) if the albedo is below 100%, are overseen by two naming committees: one for minor planets and one for planets. Once named, the objects are declared to be dwarf planets. Makemake and Haumea are the only objects to have proceeded through the naming process as presumed dwarf planets. Currently, there are no other bodies that meet this criterion. All other bodies are named by the Minor Planet Naming Committee alone, and the IAU has not stated how or if they will be accepted as dwarf planets. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Limiting values. The qualifying feature of a dwarf planet is that it has sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes a hydrostatic equilibrium nearly round shape. Current observations are generally insufficient for a direct determination as to whether a body meets this definition. Also, a dwarf planet may not be the satellite of another body, even though several moons such as Titan are larger than the recognized dwarf planets. Based on a comparison with the icy moons that have been visited by spacecraft, such as Mimas round at 400 km in diameter and Proteus irregular at 410 to 440 km in diameter, Michael Brown estimated that an icy body relaxes into hydrostatic equilibrium at a diameter somewhere between 200 and 400 km. Ceres is thought to be the only dwarf planet in the asteroid belt. 4 Vesta, the second most massive asteroid, appears to have a fully differentiated interior and was therefore in equilibrium at some point in its history, but it is not today. The third most massive object, 2 Pallas, has a somewhat irregular surface and is thought to have only a partially differentiated interior. Brown has estimated that, because rocky objects are more rigid than icy objects, rocky objects below 900 km (560 miles) in diameter may not be in hydrostatic equilibrium and thus not dwarf planets. After Brown and Tancredi made their calculations, it was discovered that Iapetus (1,470 km in diameter) and the smaller moons of Saturn, down to Mimas, with well-determined shapes, are not in hydrostatic equilibrium as had been thought. They have a hydrostatic shape that froze in some time ago and that does not match the shape an equilibrium body would have at their current rotation rates. Ceres, at 950 km, is the smallest body for which detailed measurements are consistent with hydrostatic equilibrium. It is not clear whether trans-Neptunian objects would behave more like Ceres or Iapetus, thus, some or all trans-Neptunian dwarf planets smaller than Pluto and Eris might not actually be in equilibrium. The IAU has not addressed the issue since these findings. Tancredi's assessment In 2010, Gonzalo Tancredi presented a report to the IAU evaluating a list of 46 candidates for dwarf planet status based on light curve amplitude analysis and the assumption that the object was more than 450 km 280 miles in diameter. Some diameters are measured, some are best fit estimates, and others use an assumed albedo of 0.10. Of these, he identified 15 as dwarf planets by his criteria including the four accepted by the IAU, with another nine being considered possible. To be cautious, he advised the IAU to «officially» accept as dwarf planets the top three not yet accepted, Sedna, Orcus, and Quaor. Although the IAU had anticipated Tancredi's recommendations, as of 2013, they have not responded. <laughs> Brown's assessment. Mike Brown considers a large number of trans-Neptunian bodies, ranked by estimated size, to be «probably» dwarf planets. He did not consider asteroids, stating, «In the asteroid belt series, with a diameter of 900 km, is the only object large enough to be round». The terms for varying degrees of likelihood he split these into Near certainty, diameter estimated, measured to be over 900 km 560 miles. Sufficient confidence to say these must be in hydrostatic equilibrium, even if predominantly rocky. 
highly likely, diameter estimated, measured to be over 600 km miles. The size would have to be «grossly in error», or they would have to be primarily rocky to not be dwarf planets. Likely, diameter estimated, measured to be over 500 km miles. Uncertainties in measurement mean that some of these will be significantly smaller and thus doubtful. Probably, diameter estimated, measured to be over 400 km miles. Expected to be dwarf planets, if they are icy, and that figure is correct. Possibly, diameter estimated, measured to be over 200 km miles. Icy moons transition from a round to a regular shape in the 200 to 400 km range, suggesting that the same figure holds true for KBOs. Thus, some of these objects could be dwarf planets. Probably not, diameter estimated, measured to be under 200 km. No icy moon under 200 km is round, suggesting that the same is true for KBOs. The estimated size of these objects would have to be in error for them to be dwarf planets. Topic Grundy et al.'s assessment Grundy et al. propose that dark, low-density TNOs in the size range of approximately 400 to 1,000 km are transitional between smaller, porous and thus low density bodies and larger, denser, brighter and geologically differentiated planetary bodies such as dwarf planets. Bodies in this size range should have begun to collapse the interstitial spaces left over from their formation, but not fully, leaving some residual porosity. Many TNOs in the size range of 400 to 1,000 km have oddly low densities, in the range of 1.0 to 1.2 g per cc, that are substantially less than dwarf planets such as Pluto, which have densities closer to 2. Brown has suggested that large low density bodies must be composed almost entirely of water ice, since he presumed that bodies of this size would necessarily be solid. However, this leaves unexplained why TNOs both larger than 1,000 km and smaller than 400 km, and indeed comets, are composed of a substantial fraction of rock, leaving only this size range to be primarily icy. Experiments with water ice at the relevant pressures and temperatures suggest that substantial porosity could remain in this size range, and it is possibly that adding rock to the mix would further increase resistance to collapsing into a solid body. Bodies with internal porosity remaining from their formation could be at best only partially differentiated, in their deep interiors. If a body had begun to collapse into a solid body, there should be evidence in the form of fault systems from when its surface contracted. The higher albedos of larger bodies is also evidence of full differentiation, as such bodies were presumably resurfaced with ice from their interiors. Grundy et al. propose therefore that midsize, low density, and low albedo. Topic: <laughs> Likeliest dwarf planets. The following trans-Neptunian objects have estimated diameters at least 300 km 190 miles, and so may be dwarf planets. Not all bodies estimated to be this size are included. The list is complicated by bodies such as 47,171 Lempo that were at first assumed to be large single objects but later discovered to be binary or triple systems of smaller bodies. The dwarf planet series is added for comparison. The default sort is per Brown's size estimate. The IAU recognized dwarf planets have bold names. Brown's diameter estimates are in red when they are based upon an assumed albedo. Explanations and sources for the measured masses and diameters can be found in the corresponding article's LinkedIn column designation of the table. Topic. See also. Lists of astronomical objects. List of trans-Neptunian objects. List of gravitationally rounded objects of the solar system List of former planets <laughs>